Ja, Like Everything that's going on today is normal. I'm gonna go to the restroom. First restroom break in four hours. It's all normal. Everything that's happening on this stream today is normal. Check. 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 Wow, look at all that aggression is not what I'm saying. I mean, uh, not. Uh, yeah. I, I pulled a knot on you guys. It really threw me. I'm thrown. Yeah. Okay. So preflop, whatever. Mickey could have four bet. Adam's three betting light. Who cares? I look. mean, yeah. I mean, Mickey probably should have four bet. But yeah. yeah, let's go on. All right. On the flop, everything makes sense up until Adam checks, which... We talked at length on our podcast about it's not a bad check by any means in our opinion. Yeah, it's just unusual. You wouldn't like you would love to generate some fold equity with five high right and equity against most things. Yeah, with that flush draw too, it's kind of nice. The reasons to check are we're three handed. Mickey flatted the three bet from the small blind. Now it's Mickey who Could is have a lot as of gambling as as gambling as he looks, and so he can have a lot of hands here. But this board does you know hit both our opponents relatively well. Um, it's probably a neutral board. I would say maybe even slightly towards them. It's unclear. But with two opponents, it's not unreasonable to check here. And then, of course, you also add some deception into your hand if you were to make a flush. Now, it turns out if Andrew makes a flush, too, that's a problem. It's, it's a problem. But one thing at a time. We don't know that anyone else has hearts. And it's really hard to put us on hearts by checking. Here. It's certainly the less common play to check here. That's, yes. That's not the common course of action. But it can create some weird situations, which we love here. We on do. the breakdown. We do. Speaking of weird situations, let's get to the turn. Okay. Where everybody could have bet. Yes, everyone. Yeah. I and mean, no one did. Mickey's check, we talked about it also on our podcast, makes some sense. I mean, yeah. Adam is supposed to rep this card a lot of the time. We have a very underrepped Ace King, even though the even though it's like a slightly coordinated board in some ways, it's not that coordinated. We feel pretty comfortable with our Ace King here. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Like we're not always ahead, but we're ahead a lot. Um, if we're losing, we're usually losing to Andrew Nimi. Although once Jack or something yeah, like that. Once in a while, um, Adam can have like Ace Eight or Ace Deuce uh, suited, but not that often. Yeah. And so yeah, but but the check makes a lot of sense, like you said, because we're checking to give Adam a chance to bet at this, which right? we think is what Nimi was doing too. Yeah. And our best guess is that Nimi's plan with his Broadway draw now and flush draw would be to check raise because. It would hate to check call out a position and be left with nothing on the river. You know, you want to give yourself a chance to win and also win a bigger pot when you get there. I think that's what Nimi's plan would have been to check race. Probably. Um, sizing would matter a little bit uh, in terms of what Adam does here, but I would expect almost all the time Andrew's check looking to check race. But he doesn't get the opportunity. I know. Which is by far the most interesting decision in the hand so far for Adam to check again. I mean, on the flop, sure, we're doing this deceptive thing. People won't expect us to have it. We even picked up equity here against everything with the wheel draw. It's I great. mean, it is odd. It is curiouser and curiouser. We can rep this said. ace. Like when we checked the flop, a lot of what we had was ace, king, and ace, queen. You yeah. Know, that's what a lot of people will check the flop three ways with. Hey, now we can rep that. And we have a ton of equity against most things. It seems like so obvious to bet this when we have five high. Okay. We didn't like the board before. We thought it hit our opponents. Guess what? That ace hits us really well, especially based on the story we're telling. Like you said, we're, we're, we're screaming ace, king here, right? Yep. So, so why aren't we now screaming it with our chips? I don't know. Well, understand. it seems like Adam is going out of his way to try to play differently and yeah. play in an unexpected way, which does have value, especially metagame value. Absolutely. So maybe there's something there, you know, but it, it's certainly an odd parlay to both check the flop and the turn with this hand being the three better. It wouldn't occur to me to check the turn with this hand, I have to say. Uh, boy, is, is this hand hidden now like it's very hidden. wow what like if you're Nimi and you were thinking about what does adam have we think it's probably like two tens yeah something like that. that that'd be our guess leave the guesswork out of it at nitrogen sports where you're always gonna get value and you're always gonna be right i mean you are gonna get value we have the greatest iterated value in poker there with our monthly tournament use the link in our pins tweet when you sign up for nitrogen to get access to that tournament there's always at least a 40 percent overlay that is not a joke that is legitimate and it's gonna happen for all of 2022 at least it keeps on trucking join us do it you cowards you fools
This is so awkward. <laughs> nice meeting you. Do I get bonus money if I can put you on the right hand? I'm gonna fall. But do I get bonus money? Alright, alright. Let me find out. Let me find out the bonus money. <laughs> Just say goodbye to me. Oh, yeah. Giant butt. Oh, yeah. um, I don't know who the other one is. There was somebody who had a giant butt? Why don't I just say goodbye to me? All in. Yeah, All giant in. butt? Mm. Yeah. You hear that? For how much? Oh, a giant butt. It's like her signature. Oh, fuck. I, I, I was old for our Amber's house. Oh, wait. Uh, home to the small city. Got a bigger butt. The redhead, don't just say goodbye to me. 8,000. Uh, you know who else is too? My homie with all the tattoos? CJ, he is too. Bro, he honestly, he might have one of the weirdest army fans I've ever like, even seen. Because what he does is he does like crazy, like, it's not just about the porn. His content's so good that I actually skip over most of the porn just to watch the rest of his skits. They're so funny and just outrageous. And there's always sex in the video. Sex. I noticed. Does anybody else have sex here? <laughs> 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 oh. That's family people right? Where? Right here, what? No? Nah, I ain't gonna be here before. Uh, I used to prison. Pursuit. I never been to do it. <laughs> I don't know, man. Is Andrew gonna bluff me in this spot? The thing is, is that I don't understand. I don't think you can put me on what I have because I didn't play what I have like what I have. And that's the only reason why I want to call. Not that I am, but. Might be the time to sign the gloves. <laughs> Might be a while, right? <laughs> All right, I call. Oh. Five hot flush. Wow, 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 wow. That is such a river and everything exploded and now Adam's at least a little bit sad inside. It's like a Fast and the Furious movie. There's a river and explosions. And, yeah. You know, You know, it's, it's not like a Justice League movie, even though Aquaman is in it. Nothing is ever Aquaman. water. Aquaman? Nothing is ever water adjacent for some reason. Where's the water? I uh, Anyway, let's move on. <laughs> Sorry. The water is... Zack Snyder, why? He does, you know, he's afraid of the water. Yeah. Um, should Nimi be afraid of Adam when Adam raises? Mm. Like, I think this is the biggest question. Yeah. Maybe we can get to that in a second, though, okay. because first we should talk about Adam raising it all. It seems pretty obvious. Now that we're so underwrapped, even though it's the worst possible flush, we still have to do it. I mean, this everyone's hand is so underwrapped at this point, especially Adam's. Adam's yeah. the most 
Andrew, of course, is going to be betting so many hands. We feel like when he sizes this way, his minimum is ace-queen, which makes perfect sense. He can have aces up. He can have a set. He can have a straight a little bit of the time, not too often, but at least a tiny bit. He can have uh, four or five suited. Um, he can have other stuff. He can have other two pairs. You have to attack this with this hand. Our hand is just too strong to just call it. Because here. of the checks. Because of the previous yeah. checks. Yeah, yeah, of course. If... If uh, we had been betting before, if there had been action before and suddenly Andrew donks out now on the river, we can only call, I think. All right. Profitably. So should Andrew Nimi, instead of what he did, be like Zack Snyder in the water and be like, I'm afraid I just call because that's, that's what Zack Snyder says when He's, he sees water. I'm afraid I, I will just call. Yeah. Ghostbusters or like 911 or something. Right? So I call somebody because okay. I'm afraid. Yeah. Um, Typically, in spots when you're on the river in No Limit Hold'em, it's not a good idea to three bet the non nut flush on an unpaired board. Um, rarely is it a good idea uh, for value. Yeah. Yeah. Like usually you either have the nut flush block or you have the nut flush, right? Yeah. But this hand played out in a very strange way up until now. Is that enough to make it a better play to move in, even though it's hard to think of hands that can call us? I think it probably is enough. It's, it's kind of close, but I think you probably have to raise for value here. Um, it's possible. We're not going to get all the credit that we should get for our hand because we could have bet the turn yeah. as Andrew, even though I understand why he checked. I think he checked as we were saying, to check raise because we thought Adam was going to bet a lot on the, sure. on the turn himself with that ace coming. So I think we probably have to go for it here and hope somehow, some way, Adam has like a flush or is a very um, stubborn straighter set, which is possible because what does it look like we have when we do this? We either have a hand just like we have. We have like, the nuts, the, sometimes the second nuts, or just the naked ace of hearts. What right. else do we ever have here? Yeah, that's all we can have. It's hard to put us on flushes because we didn't bet the turn, even though we probably are checking that a lot. So really. ultimately, I think, and I think you agree, Jonathan, that we sort of have to go for it, even I though do. it's a bit risky, just because of the strange lines that we've seen so far. You feel far. really dumb when he insta-calls, and you're like, what was I even... I didn't have to do that, but I think you do have to go for it here. Well, he didn't insta-call, and, and this spot for Adam is certainly worth a tank. This yes. is tough. I mean... We put ourselves here, right? We did this to ourselves by the way we played this hand. I mean, we were going to be in a, we were going to be, we we're going to lose all the money no matter what. Right? Yes. That was just going to happen. But this was our chance actually not to lose all the money the yeah. way we played the hand. But, but also because we decided to keep checking in spots where almost no one would with this hand in this spot, how are we supposed to think Nimi is so sure to have this super strong hand, right? It's, it's tough to get out from under the massive boulder of how underrepped we are and make a different decision because. Mm -hmm. How could that not weigh so heavily on you as you played it this way and you, and you have a flush? You do have to take that in consideration. You just have to. And can't Nimi have be sitting there and think, how do you ever have a truly strong hand? Or I have the ace of hearts. Forget it. I'm going for it. Like, I'm yeah. going to turn my value bet on the my value bet on the river into a bluff on the river. Yeah, just in case you have a set of threes or something. Yeah, you have a better two pair than I do or whatever it is. You, you have a straight. You have a bad flush. I'm going to try and get you to fold even, which seems just so unlikely. Yeah. But like, you never have... You, I have the ace of hearts. You never have the nuts. You basically never have the king high flush either. You would have been betting it. I, I assume as Andrew Nimi, I might be thinking that, right? So I'm just going to attack. It's hard to get that out of my... I would be in my mind also as Adam. It really would. It would. I mean... It, this is all so muddy to me and so opaque because of how things happened in this hand. Yeah. And I think ultimately the easiest way to think about it for both players is my hand is a little bit too good to not do this. And I don't think any mistakes were made on the river. I think I like this that. is probably how you were supposed to do it, even though it's a strange manifestation of this, of this hand. I think, you know, the things we can take into account that maybe could save us on this river a little bit as Adam, maybe, is we have to think about what we know about Andrew. And I don't know. I haven't watched Andrew play in a while personally. I'm saying this is Jonathan. So I don't know if he's gotten more bluffy. In the old days, he was very much not bluffy. And then I know he started to experiment with being more bluffy in spots. But a three bet on the river, not a lot of players had that bluff in them. Right. Andrew may be working on that and maybe even showing that stuff in his, in his vlogs. And if he is, fair enough. But that's something to consider at least, right? Um, besides that, I don't know, man. I don't know. How are we really supposed to get away from this? We could think about that Andrew can have all the flushes in his range still because he, his check on the turn makes more sense than ours. That's the only other thing I got. Yeah, I think it's fine just to call. Me too. Sometimes you just get in these spots. Did it have to be this way for Adam is really the question we have for you guys today. Adam made unusual decisions on several streets, right? He checked flop, he checked turn. He, we think he had to raise the river we think he probably had to call as well the, the shove but what do you think do you agree with these plays do you think there's better ways to do this and ultimately in the end should adam 22 find a call or a fold 
on this river shove against Andrew with a hand this strong and this under rep? Let us know in the comments. And this is a strange one, and if you want to really join in on the, di on the dialogue, uh, join our Discord. There's a link in the description of this video. We talk about all the hands there. We have a nice community there. We'll see you there.